Hey guys, it's Lauren. This is my Weber weekly update. I haven't updated you on my house in a while and I'm doing a big renovation of my landscaping, some of the outdoor space. So I thought I would bring you along on the journey and share some of the things that I've learned. So let's jump into it. Okay, I don't know about you, but this is true for me. I like to think of home renovations as like, if you give a mouse a cookie, because when I start something, I just want it to be done right, done well. Um, I wanna be as cost efficient as I can. And I just wanna take care of it all at once. So I don't have to worry about it later. So this all started because I, didn't know if I could take care of grass. I had the intention, you know, of growing the grass and I tried, I tried pouring some grass seeds, watering, and then just weeds started coming up. And I was at a crossroads of, do I buy a lawnmower and continue the journey of real grass or do I go to artificial turf? So for me, I'm okay with watering plants, but it is a lot of work to maintain the yard and grow the grass, water it. I don't have a sprinkler system that works, um, and then mow it. So I'm going the route of installing artificial grass. Now, with that said, doing the grass turned into um, doing pavers and then putting drainage in, and then I realized that there's not, there wasn't proper protection of the foundation of my home. I'm on slab, so all these things started happening and now I have a full on renovation going on. It's happening right now. I don't know if you can hear, the turf is going in, so rocks are being uh, shuffled from the front to the backyard, but um, let me just show you a little bit of the process of what I've gone through. Progress report, all this is gone. All that is gone. Oh, that's going away. Okay, we're going to a store to pick out some turf. Artificial grass wholesale. Coming here to choose some turf. Okay, yeah. here are my options. Pet turf. This is a no. This is no. I think that's the winner. Pavers are in here and here is new. All right, so I have to paint my house, which I was not expecting to do. So all along here, <laughs> I need to push the dirt back and do a touch-up paint where all the cement went all the way around. So luckily the previous owners left all of these paint samples, whoopsie, luckily found this big old tub of the blue. All right, I realize this is so ridiculous. <laughs> I don't use this anymore. This is my itsy bitsy teeny weeny paintbrush I'm going to use. Good news, color matches perfectly. Turf is here, it's like a big old rug. The turf turned into putting in a planter, turned into putting pavers, turned into um, putting drainage in the back. And now I can rest assured that my house is protected, the integrity is protected, and it looks better. So I started with the cosmetic and then it ended up being an actual um, project of protecting my home. So I always harp on getting multiple bids on any work that you do to your home. I sort of half did this and I wish I took my own advice and did it for everything. But I got three bids for installing artificial turf. Uh, one bid was for 4,500, another bid was for 4,700, and then I ended up going with a guy that could do all the concrete work, drainage, turf, um, the whole work. So all of that cost is rolled up into the final bill. This guy came referred to me by my dad, who I trust. Um, he did work on my parents' house, and my dad told me that he got a bid for the same work 
for $14,000 and this guy was a fraction of the price. So I went with his recommendation and I just figured if I'm gonna get it done, might as well just have one person do it so that they know what's going on and the project can be more seamless. But I do wish that I still got other bits even though I knew I was going to go with him because I don't know, I don't have a comparison of costs for all the cement work that I did, the drainage, the pavers. Um, I do know that I got a fair price on the turf because I got two other bids for it. So the biggest lesson that I learned is that I will always get multiple bids just so I can have peace of mind. There's some people who just go off of someone's recommendation, the referral and they're good to go and they can sleep at night, but I actually couldn't. I was like, am I getting a good deal? Am I getting ripped off? Is this guy gonna do a good job? I don't know, but it all worked out. He did a phenomenal job. I'm so happy I went with him. I do trust my dad, so I trust his recommendation. It all worked out and I'm happy to pay the price that I'm paying um, because of the phenomenal job that he has done. If you need a good concrete guy, if you need a good guy to help protect the foundation of your home and do proper drainage, I have an amazing referral. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I hope you're having a great day. I will see you next week. Bye.